What is up? Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon opening. Hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy, and practicing good hygiene. Uh, definitely really important these days. All right, we have a, another Sword and Shield booster box. This is actually the last booster box we will be opening on this channel. We do have more, but I think I'll just keep those sealed in, as part of our growing sealed collection and having trouble cutting this open. So the card we are looking for the most right now would be that Golden Quick Ball. Secret Rare Quick Ball is the card we're looking for. Uh, even though, of course, I'd be happy pulling any kind of Zacians, I do think kind of like the price of that card is going to come down in the coming months as there is a new tin dropping later in May. Featuring a Zamazenta and Zacian promo, and most likely just going to be the same V card. Uh, I think it's actually a very good buy, and uh, actually you can pick it off with Game Nerds. Pre-order it right now for 25% off. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you can pick up both for basically 30. I think it's like 37.50. And if you buy more than one, you can actually get free shipping as well. So I think it's a great purchase, highly recommend it. And once again, we have this weird thing where when the cards are upside down, that usually means a ultra rare hit, uh, not full art or anything. Like the full art and secret rares do seem to be uh, right side up. And actually kind of, I think we'll kind of follow that thing where we just go through the uncommons, we'll skip the commons after this pack. We got a Minchino for our first pack, and we got a hit right away. Celebi, I feel like I pull a lot of Celebi Vs. So, one pack, one hit, that is a good start to any opening. Let's get into our next pack. So, in case you guys didn't hear, unfortunately all, um, basically IRL events have been, why do I keep doing that? have been canceled from now until mid-May, which unfortunately does include pre-releases, so there won't be any VMAX or Rebel Clash pre-releases. Uh, I did pick up like a good amount of uh, the B&B boxes, and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll have our own little event or something like that. But it's unfortunate news, but hey, you know what? Better safe than sorry, so you, it's hard to Hard to blame the Pokemon company for making a tough decision like that. For our next pack, alright, we are skipping the commons going forward, and we just got a Sandaconda. And with all this social distancing going on, <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? I've been going a little stir crazy, haven't left the apartment too much. Uh, basically, just working from home. We got an upside down card, probably a V level rare. And if you are kind of bored, hopefully this uh, can be a bit of a distraction and, ooh, Cremorant V, not bad, during these turbulent times. All right, so yeah, we're doing just half this box. We'll do the rest of the box in a separate part, as I don't like these videos to be too long. So yeah, Rebel Clash is on the way. We'll definitely have... Uh, Plenty of openings once that set does drop in a Syndrace, but not the good one. Let's see, there is still some products to hit that will have uh, like Sword and Shield packs. I think the next one coming up is kind of like the initial drop from some of the cards that were featured in the Japanese set, all, uh, Tag All Stars, with some pretty cool reprints. I think it has like a Car Costa GX, which is nothing too special, but then has, I think it's the Espeon Deoxys, which I think that art looks amazing, as well as the Umbreon Darkrai as well. And I'll drop towards the end of this month, and then after that there's a couple more things, I think in April. I think another like Galar Minitins, I think. So still some stuff to look, for, look forward to before the drop of Rebel Clash. Maybe keep us keep our minds off of uh, all the uh, temporarily off all the scary things going on out there. All right, so far nothing too crazy in this opening. We did get two V cards, uh, but wouldn't say actually Kramer V is pretty good. Ooh, Chinchino. This might be our <laughs> one of our better pulls so far. Sophia. 
The Celebi, I'm kind of disappointed in how it kind of performed. Kramer, I feel like I'm seeing less of, but I think there are probably going to be situations every once in a while Kramer will come back, I imagine. And uh, if you do play the online game, you should definitely attend one of our streams. Uh, we do stream three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. EST, and we do tons of pack giveaways. Uh, not too long ago, we had a several people generously donate some subs, and that basically increases the amount of packs we give. We gave away over 150 code cards in a single night, and I really love this poll. We've been really struggling finding Professor's Researches. So really happy with that. I went even so as far to buy a Rillaboom theme deck just to make sure I had enough to play in an IRL tournament, which did get canceled, but what can you do? But now we can uh, actually have some foil professor's researches. I believe that's only my third one that we pulled so far. We got Kingler, Shelder is our reverse, and then just a Lantern. All right, hoping for at least a full art. Uh, out of the box, hoping for two full arts and one secret rare, on that, specifically that quick ball. Alright, probably about halfway through the opening so far. Corvus Squire, Garvantula, Galvantula, Durant is our reverse, and then, oh! <laughs> Alright, we didn't get the gold quick ball, but we got uh, maybe the one card that's better at, and this, this is our third gold Zacian. It does seem that with, uh, you know, less kind of secret rares, uh, there's not a secret rare of like every V card, there's like full arts, but then not like a rainbow of every card. Uh, as a result, there's a lot more of these Zacians in the, kind of like, uh, to be pulled, or I feel like, obviously this is pretty rare, but there's not as rare, I guess, as previously. Like, the amount of Zacians compared to, we'll say like rainbow rare fill in the blank from previous sets, um, there's a lot more Zacians. In fact, that is the third one we pulled on this channel alone. So, super stoked about it. We went for the quick ball. We got the one card that is better. We're happy with that. Another sword doggy pulled. And, uh, yeah, it actually worked out really well where currently Zamazenta, although with VMAX Rising or Rebel Clash, I feel like VMAX Rising was such a better name. Uh, with Rebel Clash coming out, there's a lot of cool VMAX Pokemon, so maybe Zamazenta will have its time to shine. But until then, definitely Zacian is the stronger of the two. So we have been super fortunate to consistently pull Zacians. Not only is that we've been pulling Zacians, but we got a full art. We have three gold Zacians. And I think we've only pulled regular art Zamazenta. So yeah, we've been doing quite well with this set. Should we open more boxes? Eh, I think we're we're good on boxes right now. We got a great ball, Pharaoh Seed, Nine Tails. But let's just take another look at this guy. I want to. These centering is not perfect, so um, at this point we pulled enough of them where I think if any of them are well centered, we'll probably send at least one to PSA. That one doesn't seem like a great candidate based on the centering. All right, Drizzle, Ordinary Rod, Beady, Palpad is the reverse. I'll put that off the side. Ooh, and Oranguru. This is a really good card. I really like that Primate Wisdom ability, especially when it comes to now that we've been running custom catchers. Uh, if you want to use your professor's research, but you have a custom catcher in hand, that is so painful. Oranguru is a nice way to preserve the card. Just put it on top of the deck and draw it again. Although sometimes. <laughs> Use that ability and you draw a, another um, custom catcher, which feels super painful. Lessons, uh, ooh, very good pack. Just some things that have been going on in our PTCGO streams. Definitely check them out. Ooh, okay, we got a full art Delmise. As far as grass Pokemon in the V era, I think it'll change next set, but uh, not nothing too strong. Delmise is probably better than Celebi, but even that one doesn't get used that much. I think uh, with Rebel Clash, I really want to create a Rillaboom deck going all out with the Voltage Beat Rillaboom into V and V Max Rillaboom as well. 
So an all kooky based deck essentially should be really good. Clay doll, and then eight more Pekko. All right, guys, this is our last pack for this opening. We've only had four hits so far, but we got the home run of the set and the third time on this channel. That is amazing. Do me a favor, guys, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already subbed to the channel, definitely hit the sub button as well. Notification uh, bell for notifications. Our last pack we have energy retrieval, Pharaoh Thorn, Heat More, a Rhyperior Reverse, not bad, and a Boltund. I actually thought this card was pretty cool. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a V or GX, this does 180 damage. So I feel like this thing does have some potential. Maybe if a water tech breaks out, this will be a great way to kind of like tech against that. So, But that's going to be it for this opening. <laughs> another success. Another, or, or I said about to say rainbow, another golden Zacian in the collection. I'm a Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.